Hi guys, it's Shaylee, and today I have my new bullet journal flip through that I'm going to do um, from like all the things that I have in the beginning up until the end of, well, this week of January because that's all I really have currently. Um, I'm also filming this on my phone, so I'm sorry if it's a little shaky. I just haven't gotten more batteries for my camera, so hopefully this works. We're also trying to do this with one hand, so please bear with me. Um, I had my, well, I had a purple alert from A5 dot grid, um, journal, and for this year I bought myself a white one, just because I thought that would be super pretty, and I really like it. So this is my, um, ta what is this called, my contents page, and I just have my numbers, uh, the number of pages and what all they are, so if I would need to find something quickly, I can find it. So this is my first page. It says 2017 will be the year of you. And basically, I just want to focus more on myself this year um, and things that I'm doing for me and not for other people. So this is like a daily reminder. And then these first four pages are my future log. I have six months on this page and, oh, and six months on this page. Um, so basically, this is for this year um because i had my future log my other one so i know it's not really future but like i count it as the future so those are my first two pages well my first like section next i have 2017 in pixels and um this is basically just me deciding how each of my days went and i have my key here so as you can see my year's been pretty good so far um and then I have my 17 for 2017, which is just 17 on makeup related goals that I have for myself this year. And I'm letting myself fill them in. So uh, as you see, I only have five. Next, I have my car payment tracker. Um, this is the brick wall method. And each brick, as you see here, is worth $75, which is my payment every week. So I know that's how that works. And hopefully this will be full by the end of the year. Um, and then I have my 21st birthday countdown, because I'm turning 21 this year, as you can see. And I made just a little Tetris game out of it, because I thought that would be fun, and a fun way to, like, count down to my 21st. And then I have my makeup goals of 2017, which I have a video about, so I'm not going to really talk about that. And then I have happy movies, and I'm just going to um, fill this in when I have the time. Uh, movies that just make me happy. Next I have my 2017 step count, which I saw somebody else do this and I thought it was really cool. So um, I have this step tracker on my phone, so I've been using that to guesstimate how many steps I take each day. And as you can see, so far we're a little well. This part here is when I was sick, so so far we're doing good. And maybe a TMI, but this is my period tracker where I'm tracking when I have my period and when I take birth control. And just to see it in like a yearly overview. Okay, and this is my yearly video upload log, and I, this is the whole year, every highlighted number is when I upload, and I just want to see how I do from like month to month. I have my Instagram tracker for my bullet journal Instagram, um, and then I have my birthdays, and these are just birthdays of important people that I want to remember their days, because I'm not very good at that. This is a weight loss tracker, I kind of just did this for fun, I don't really think I need it. Um, but it's in here now, so. And then I have my wish list. Okay, and then I have the last time you, which is when I, the last time I changed something and when I have to change it again. And then this is my intro to January 2017. Um, I tried to pick one word that I wanted to focus on this year, but I picked three instead because it just worked better for me. So my three words of 2017 are breathe, grow, and succeed. Okay, and as we get into it, this is my work schedule. Um, and then this is just like my normal calendar where I write down payments and appointments and things like that. Next, I have my January habit tracker, which I did in a rainbow theme this month, which I'm really enjoying. And these are just things I like to track. Alongside with my moods and my diet, I'm tracking in like a bar graph version. This was my first week of January, 
I hate this spread. I thought I liked it, but I don't. Changed it after this week, so I don't really want to talk about it just because I don't like it. This is the spread that I've been using for the past few weeks. So as you can see, it has the month and the week on my YouTube stats of when the week started to when the week ended, my weekly to-do, YouTube this week, my water intake, and then just like my weekly whatever I need to do. And same for this week. Um, as you can see, um, I got engaged. Fun fact. We'll talk about that later, but um, spoiler alert basically. But yeah, that happened on Saturday. Um, and then this is the week that we're in. And um, basically the same thing. The only difference is I have this little sticky note here because I started a college class this week and this is just like my weekly overview that I need to um, work on this week. Um, also, just so you know, these yellow tabs right here, that's going to help me mark my month by month. Um, and I'm wanting to do a rainbow theme just because that's what makes me happy and it's appealing to me. So there's that. And then this will be for next week. And then I meant to put this at the beginning of the month, but I forgot. So this is my January spending. And this is basically like when I don't spend money, when I do spend money, and what I spend money on. And that's basically my January flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's different from my makeup ones, but I really enjoy bullet journaling. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And yeah, have a great night or day wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.